Well, it's been a big journey. I'm sure um, everybody can attest to as they've watched us go from the beginning of the season through to the end. And um, I think our uh, overall schedule was one of the toughest that we've ever had and, and faced. And I really think that contributed to our overall success. Uh, having an injured player and having that dramatically impact our locker room, our players, our coaches, our staff, um, and going through that together and, and really bonding together and, and linking arms together and, and seeing how God used um, uh, how, how God used us, uh, not only to impact the guys in the locker room, but the fans and people from all around the world who, who got to see um, what Liberty Hockey was truly about. Everybody came to play each game, um, and especially down the stretch we saw with the games against from UNLV to Ohio and Adrian and Minot, that really prepared us for uh, the national tournament, which at the end of the day you're, you're wanting to be 100% ready for. If we, if we rest on what's been done, then it won't, it won't continue. So we really have to just keep focused on increasing uh, our level of compete, uh, which has been very high. How do you increase that? I think it's just by bringing in guys that are the right fit and right mix and that can gel with the current players um, and see the guys who are here continue to grow. We, we want to be focused on our culture. We want to be focused on the players we're bringing in to create an opportunity every year for our players to be champions for Christ on and off the ice. I think the experience gained each and every year, especially the deeper you go at, at nationals, I mean, seeing our guys be one goal away from making it to the finals uh, and then that next game being a one goal game in itself just shows us that we're right there. Uh, as, as we get commitments, I think we'll uh, bring the excitement uh, back and be ready uh, to go for the next year. So it's just a matter of the process taking place. It's a really nice uh, opportunity to have a lot of older players coming back and, and Colin did a fantastic job for us and so uh, obviously with Colin graduating we we're looking for a new captain for us it was uh, obvious who the choice was uh, Matt has been a, a fantastic captain for us he's someone who uh, really embodies what Liberty Hockey is about on and off the ice he cares about the guys in the locker room I think he's somebody that everybody looks up to and, and can relate to. And so he was a guy that, you know, being mentored, I guess, if you will, or being part of the leadership group, you know, under Colin, um, he's somebody who will be able to connect with all types of individuals and, and has been um, progressing to a point where he can take the helm and there's no not going to be a real uh, adjustment period for anybody, I don't, I don't believe. To have that foundation and to continue to build on the foundation that's been been set year for years and years with all the alumni who have been through our program. We want to continue the legacy of Liberty Hockey. Continue to bring men who come through our program and who go out and want to make a difference with their lives, who want to be leaders in the world, and who ultimately want to be champions for Christ wherever God places them once they graduate from here.